Welcome back to my channel. So I am in Cranbrook, British Columbia with my beautiful friend Alina from her channel, Alina McLeod. She's amazing. I love her channel and I'm so excited to have her here. You are too kind. <laughs> Thank you very much for bringing me on this trip. Oh, Thank you for going. When uh, Petrina said we should do this, I was like, I have never been to Cranbrook. I don't know anything about Cranbrook, but I am so excited to come here and check it out. Yes, and we are in the most beautiful destination. We're actually being hosted by St. Eugene's Resort. Mm -hmm. And this place is unreal. Stunning. Yes. Something very interesting about this building is that it is indigenous owned. Actually, this whole resort mm -hmm. is indigenous owned. Mm -hmm. And it has a really, really crazy history. Well, this building that we're actually sitting in front of is called the Mission Building, and it is a former residential school that was in operation from 1920 to 1970 so really not that long ago when you think about it and uh, you know for anyone who doesn't know about the residential school system that happened all over Canada basically indigenous children were taken away from their families and basically you know trying to have their culture taken away and really whitewashed so um, a very dark history for many different parts of Canada and this is one of those former schools that was taken back by the indigenous people of this area, which is the Tunaha people. And it has now been turned into a stunning resort, golf course, casino. <laughs> Lots of people get married here. And it is just wonderful that it is completely indigenous owned. Absolutely. It really hit home for me because my own grandmother grew up in a residential school mm -hmm. and she had a lot of trauma throughout her life from the experience of growing up in the residential school. So yes, that definitely holds a big place in my heart. And being here in this building, seeing the photos of the children that used to go to school here, it's just, oh yeah, brings up a lot of emotions. Um, and the other thing, I did not know Cranbrook is a golf destination. Yeah, like, <laughs> literally everywhere. As yes. we're driving here, it's like golf course, golf course, yeah. golf course. I'm just like, <laughs> totally. <laughs> First things first, let's check out our room. Our view is where it's at. From the moment you walk into the room, you immediately feel this warm country elegance and it's so inviting, but what really brings you in is the view from the window. Immediately I had to walk straight over and take it in because just check that out. Is that not spectacular? There's a work desk, a Keurig coffee maker, a fridge, a fireplace, and a television. Everything you could need. And I love the tiles in the bathroom. In fact, I just love the bathroom. It's actually really cool. And what I love even more than that raindrop shower is the names of their shampoos and body wash. After we were settled in our room, it was time for a tour of the Mission Building where we got an amazing breakdown and educational information session about when it was a residential school. There is a Tunaha Indigenous Center here at the resort, but unfortunately it was closed. But that is a place where you can go, you can learn about Indigenous culture and the history of this building. There's even a night guard who used to be a student at the school. Um, unfortunately, he also wasn't working when we were there, but I would have loved to have a chance to talk to him because he would really have, you know, first-hand insight into what life was like during that time. And because this is a historic landmark now, they're not allowed to actually take away the original structure. So all of these bricks are the original bricks from the school. They cannot change that. Right over there is the chapel and that's where a lot of the weddings are hosted. Oh, these flowers, they smell divine. Oh, they're like intoxicating. Down here is another venue or a hall 
where they hold weddings and celebrations and people could rent it out and it's actually it's fully air conditioned in the summer so it's nice and cool in there right now and in the winter it's heated so you can use this up till minus 20 degrees celsius so they use this all year round uh, once it gets to minus 30 they said no then you can't use it but anything up till minus 20 you are good to go they do have this beautiful outdoor pool look at that I love outdoor pools, especially in the summer when it's so hot. Right in this barn here is where there is one of their three restaurants. There's one in the barn, one in the casino, and one inside that main, main building there. There's also a pro shop in there too for all the golfers that are here to take in this beautiful course. This is Cliff the Falcon. He is trained to work with the dog and what their job is is to go out on the golf course and intimidate the geese so that the geese feel that it's not a good place for them to hang around because they become a nuisance on the course. Matt, who is an all-star at St. Eugene's, took us on a nice little golf cart ride around the course, so we got a first-hand look at everything. It was awesome. All right, so we actually both decided to get the same thing. Uh, could we please get the quinoa summer salad with the salmon on top? Yeah, it sounded really good. We have this perfect view right beside us of the stunning golf course. And it's just such fresh, crisp air tonight. It's actually nice that the sun went down because it was super hot earlier. So to have it, yeah, a little cooler, I like it. And our twinning meals have just arrived. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yes. Fireplace ambiance is always the perfect way to finish off any evening. It is a beautiful morning out there. Look at that. We had a hearty breakfast back at the 19th hole to get us energized for the day's adventures. First stop, Fort Steele, which is the heritage town of Cranbrook. We're being transported back to 1898 today. This is actually the perfect time to be here, bright and early in the morning. It's 9.30. There's virtually nobody else here. There's just a couple people I can see up there walking around. So it's always nice to check out an attraction when it's quiet and you kind of have the place to yourself. So I can't complain in that regard. It is just so nice this morning and it's not too hot yet. Wild Horse Theater and they actually still have, it's like an actual functioning theater, which is quite interesting. I did see a poster at the cafe for what was playing here. <music> The Windsor Hotel, you can actually book to stay here still. Imagine the stories if these walls could talk. This one's from 1930? 1936. Wow, and that one? 1881. 1881, wow. That's really cool. Of course we had to visit the candy store with candy dating back to the 1800s. These bring back childhood memories, for sure. I remember this. Oh, crazy, I do remember those too. This taffy is something both Alina and myself mm -hmm. have eaten as a child. So good, so banana. very exciting, would you like to do the honors? Absolutely. A Check bright it out. yellow banana. <laughs> there we go. Do you want to go first? Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's hard to... <laughs> oh, wow. <gasps> It reminds me of childhood. Mm. Awesome. That consistency. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Fun. I Love remember it. It. Mm. it reminds me of this cough medicine the doctor used to prescribe yeah. me. Do you remember that one? That was delicious. Yes, it was a banana flavored cough medicine. I think mm -hmm. it might have been penicillin or something. But yeah. I used to love getting that as a Good kid. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> Time for a little gold panning lesson. Here we go. See? Nice little rocking motion. Dump your water out. Water out. Straight in, yep. straight back. And let the water flow all the way out. Straight let back. it flow, yeah. 
and don't peek. Peeking. Don't peek? Yeah, don't go like this. Don't tip it back. Oh, I thought you meant don't peek, so I'm like looking away. I'm like, no, okay, no, I'm not no, peeking. no. Okay, because people will do this. They'll pull and then they'll go, <gasps> and they're scared they're going to lose their oh. pull. Right? So just push in. Push in. Pull back. Pull back. And one more time. I'm watching the gravels, the pea gravel is left behind right now. Okay, one more time. Okay, now here's the tricky part. Clockwise motion and start to wash. See how the, I can wash the gravels away? Like that, okay? Perfect. Keep washing around in the circle. A little less aggressive. Okay. There you go. And you're going, oh, you oh. just blew it. Sideways. Did I? Yeah. It's okay. Oh, I think I meant like you blew it. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> you then you go and blew it. Keep working it. Yep, keep going. Three. There's your three. Uh -huh. Right in the edge of the pan where I'm on. Oh, Perfect. Cool. Okay. Check that out, guys. Three <laughs> little chunks of gold right there. Awesome. We are about to embark on a train ride, but not just any type of train. We are on a steam train, of course, to go with the historical aspect of this amazing location. We were brought to this platform where this incredible view was waiting for us and I am totally shocked at the beauty of this area. This is just stunning. <laughs> That's cool. After our train ride, it was time for a wagon ride where they took us around the grounds and gave us a nice in-depth explanation of the history of this little town. That was actually really impressive. Yeah. What do you think? I feel like we actually spent a lot of time here even though it was just a few hours. There's just so many different things to see that I'm like, we've had a full afternoon already. Yeah. Full day already. Yeah. And funny when we got here, I thought we were going to have too much time here. Uh -huh. But it's like Me more too. like we didn't have enough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're so. downtown Cranbrook right now and we came to one of the top restaurants in the city and it's called The Hideout. It is really cool because it even has garage doors that can open from the sides. So I love that because it really kind of turns it into like an outdoor restaurant. Hideout is also a brew pub, so they do brew their own beers here. So of course, we had to try a beer. We are here with Sven from Cranbrook Tourism. Very excited that he's showing us around. Thank you so much. Keep her a beautiful lunch. Mmm, that is so good. Okay, we do have that Reuben sandwich here, and we have this pear bacon salad that just looks so amazing. And Sven got a chicken guacamole sandwich. Also looks amazing. Speaking of amazing, this mural on the side of the building is amazing. Wow, check that out. So I can confirm, lunch was really good. So good. In case you're wondering, Cranbrook has about 24,000 people living here. Yeah. Um, it's the largest, what, southern? Urban, urban center in the Kootenay region. Okay, yes. So pretty here. Yeah. And you can see all the mountains in the backdrop yeah. over there. A little bit hazy right now. Maybe from forest fires. This right here is the fire hall and we were told that this is one of the other best restaurants. The building actually really used to be the city of Cranbrook Fire Hall starting in 1929 and now it's been redone to be this beautiful restaurant. Sven told us that we should check out more cellas. It was a little difficult for us to find but once we found it, it was super cute. It's a little artisan market and cafe. Okay, I found this really nice water, North Water, 8.2 pH, pure Canadian alkaline spring water. Alina won't get one because they're $3.50 each. And I know I technically shouldn't because that is a lot of money to that's pay that's for that's one right small bottle. But it's bougie, but I want to try and... Nature is in abundance around Cranbrook, so we came down to the North Star Bicycle Company to get some e-bikes, go on some adventures. We heard they have the best coffee in town, so we also had to get a little Americano, but it was hot outside, so they put some ice in it for me and made it into an iced coffee. And yeah, like yeah. matching bikes. That's matching hilarious. Helmet. Yeah, totally. Coffees. Those matching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> matching, oh, matching. Totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Same cameras. Same cameras. That's so yeah. funny. <laughs> we did so, plan in. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so, uh, Katrina. Okay. And, uh, this guy. All right. Okay. Sounds and good. 
Katri no. Alina. Uh, Alina, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, no uh, worries. Uh, no um, worries. You're going to be on this guy. But now, here we are. And we are about to embark on our adventure. How are you feeling? Feeling great. We're going 15 kilometers. So yeah. 15 kilometers halfway to Kimberley. Kimberley is another small town in British Columbia. Very near to here. But yeah, it's about 30 kilometers away. So we're only doing 15 there and 15 back today. Just because we wouldn't have enough time to do the full thing. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Mm -hmm. I think it goes without saying, but these paths are totally awesome and we are right by the highway, but we're still kind of secluded because we have our own bike path, so it's great. All right, Petrina, it's time Moment of truth here. for bougie water break time. Wait, bougie <laughs> North Water. Let's see if it was worth the $3.50 plus BC taxes, so like $4 bottle of water here. Yep. Let's see. <laughs> taste test. Taste test. It does it taste different. Let's see. Oh, it tastes pretty good. Really? Pretty good. Does it taste huh. a lot different than any other water? Not really, <laughs> but it tastes pretty good. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're crossing some little bridge over top of the river. So nice. 15 kilometers later and we made it to the halfway point and it was even more beautiful than I could have imagined. It just gets better and better. This beautiful e-bike brought us to this incredible location. Wow. Yes. On our way back, we even got to see a mama deer and her two fawns just eating some grass, enjoying life. What an epic, epic afternoon. And now we are heading back to St. Eugene's yep. for an amazing dinner at their beautiful restaurant, Numa. It is supposed to be the place to eat there. So we're gonna go freshen up, drink a ton of water because I am dehydrated. Yep. That sun just soaked it all out of us. Okay. So we officially made it to Numa, the creme de la creme of restaurants in Cranbrook, the one we've heard so much about. We got some wine tasters. What is this? Love it. How did you know we love wine? <laughs> I could tell. Yeah, exactly. It's written on our forehead. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So this one is Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. I love Pinot Noir. Okay, cheers. I love that it's a sample and we're like, but yeah. cheers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. cheers. <laughs> the Pinot Noir was delicious, but we ended up choosing this amazing Cabernet Merlot for the evening. These appetizers were absolutely incredible and so delicious. The scallops and prawns lasted a minute. Here are the mains that we chose tonight. We did choose the bison and there's some corn. It looks like some barley and just that presentation right there looks amazing. I'm super excited to try the bison. And over here we have the ribeye steak on some mashed potatoes, asparagus, and fresh mushrooms. So impressive. Like, 10 out of 10. 10 12 out of 10. 12, I agree, I, we broke the scale. We were then treated to this amazing little cocktail show where we got to try a maple wood smoked old fashioned. Are you ready to try this drink? Dude, this looks so cool. It smells I've good. I've never seen a drink like this before. This looks amazing. Yes, it's gonna be so good. So you yes. wanna try it first? Yeah, oh, there. wow, thank you. Do the honors. Okay. Well, first. <laughs> she choked on the smoke. Oh wow. Yeah? That is so good. Wow. Okay, you try it. Okay. Smell it first. Oh yeah, it smells like a campfire. But you inhaled all the smoke in your nostrils. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh wow. Yeah. Taste of that fur maple flavor. Love it. We finished off our dinner experience with a key lime pie dessert. It was so fluffy, light, and delicious. The perfect finish. It's really hard to believe that this amazing stay is coming to an end. I know, and I feel we've seen so much. It's only been a couple of days, but it's been like packed full of amazing things. So. Yes, and not only did we get to stay at one of the most beautiful mm -hmm. locations I've ever seen mm -hmm. with such a powerful history, um, we got to discover Cranbrook and see that there's so much to see here. Totally. We literally just skimmed the surface. I also want to give a massive 
thank you to St. Eugene's, to Matt, who took such amazing yeah, care Matt of us so while great. we were here. <laughs> Wasn't he he's awesome? so great. Like, he's definitely yeah. the best. And Sven from Tourism Cranbrook mm -hmm. took such good care of us. Mm -hmm. We are super grateful. And thank you to Alina of course, for coming on this pleasure. amazing trip with me. <laughs> this is so I fun. Mean, so fun. So fun. We're definitely going to have some adventures in the future yes. for sure. And mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. So guys, definitely put St. Eugene's, put Cranbrook onto your bucket list. Yes. If you're coming to Canada, this is a must visit destination. And if you want to learn more about indigenous culture, this is also the place for that. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. We'll see you soon. Bye.